deadline to complete Enzo Fernandez transfer brought forward as Chelsea plot bid. The deadline which Chelsea must sign Enzo Fernandez by appears to have been brought forward without Bully set to lose out on a crucial time. The Benfica star continues to be heavily linked with a move to San Francisco as Graham Potter looks to bolster his midfield. According to the Telegraph, the Blues have reopened talks with the Portuguese giant in what seems to be one final bit before the January transfer window deadline on Thursday, opening 2300 during the meantime. For both the London understand that as the West Londoners made the 22 year old a priority target before the New Year, and they held several rounds of talks over a deal. A move has rapidly collapsed, but Benfica stood by their 120 million euros or about 105 million pounds of illusion. His role is close, a figure which Chelsea were not prepared to meet. But with the glut in the spread need of a new midfielder aimed at the ascertained future of Angola Kante and Jorginho, there seemed to be a fresh urgency to wrap up a deal. However, the Blues could reportedly have as many as 24 a fewer hours than usual to reach an agreement at the Portuguese side look horns with Arauca on Thursday evening at 9.15 pm, just one hour and 45 minutes before the transfer window deadline, with Benfica unlikely to negotiate with Chelsea over a deal during the game. There would not be much time for the two parties to speak after the final whistle. So, according to Ben Jacob, if the Blues can unlock a breakthrough, all parties ideally want an ultimatum on Monday to avoid destruction on match a day. This means that the deadline to sign Fernandez could be brought forward by a day, losing crucial time which could otherwise be spent on negotiating and signing deal sheets. As early as what I say, coach Roger Skibbit declared his confidence that star play will stay with the Eagles. Yes, of course, I'm confident as I say. I think when you see Enzo playing at the moment for Benfica, I see a player who is on his top level. He's very happy to play for the club, and I think there is nothing else in the mindset of the player. I don't expect that we lose any of our players who are playing a lot and who are in the starting 11. That's why I see very affected players, and that's why I expect that they stay.